Hello there guys, welcome back to Eunice Talks Football, welcome back to another video. Chelsea, what's going on? What's going on? I, I, I've been here waiting, right, to, to come on here and give you the Oh, Thiago Silva. Oh, and you know, really get into that mood, but nothing. 5pm, no announcement. 6pm, no announcement. And I'm here like, I've got to get a video out, lads. Can you hurry up, please? <laughs> so, you know what? I'm just going to ride my luck. I'm going to talk about the one signing we've announced today. I wanted to do both of them together because I thought that is what was going to happen. But Chelsea, uh, I don't know what the hell is going on. I don't know. We have signed Malang Sar. So Malang Sar has been officially announced by Chelsea Football Club. He joins Chelsea on a five-year deal from Nice. 21-year-old left-footed central defender. It sounds beautiful. It sounds like... Um, it, what does it sound like? What's what's lovely? I can't think right now. But anyway, whatever you want to describe as lovely, that's what it is. Yeah, <laughs> and it's it's just it's fantastic. It's really 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 good. And on a free transfer, it's such a good buy. Malang Sar, um, described by many that watch French football, many within league, uh, as one of the hottest prospects that the league has had to offer. And one of the hottest prospects in French football. Because even though his roots are African. As to what exact country I'm not sure. But he currently is in the setup of the French um, youth setups. The youth teams. The, the under 21s and whatnot. But um, he is someone that is without a doubt going to be finding his way into the French national team. At the rate that he is going at. He's spoken very highly of across across the spectrum. Has been kind of out of sorts with Patrick Vieira over at Nice. And that's prompted the move and why his contract wasn't actually renewed. But Chelsea found an opportunity. And Marina Granovskaya... Good old Marina. You know, I speak of her very positively now. <laughs> she came out and said... The opportunity to sign Malang was one we could not miss. He is a tremendous prospect and will, we will be monitoring him closely during his loan period. Hoping he will soon be back at Chelsea. We are very happy to welcome him to the club today. So that's fantastic. That is fantastic. And um, it does cement exactly what we need. We've been screaming for defenders at Chelsea. We've been screaming to sort out this defensive crisis that we have at the moment. And, you know, it looks like Chelsea are taking the approach of trying to sort this out in the short term and trying to sort it out in the long term. You know, it's it's all well and good trying to get proven defenders in now. And Thiago Silva, who should be arriving any moment now. I don't know whether any moment means in the next five minutes or the next 24 hours. I can't even tell you anymore. Uh, <laughs> it's, it's all gone out the window, my predictions. But anyway, it's, it looks like Chelsea are, as you know, the arrival of Thiago Silva is imminent. To sort that out, the problem imminently, to sort that problem out in the short term. But what the arrivals of Melang Sar and Buyamba, for example, that looks like Chelsea trying to prepare themselves to sort out this problem in the long term. So we don't have a defensive crisis for the next, what, 10 years? You could say we've got an 18-year-old and a 21-year-old. And alongside that, we've already got Kurt Zuma. We've got Christensen, who we can analyse. May he's kind of out of sorts amongst many fans and Frank Lampard at the moment, but he's an option. We've got, well, Rudiger, who's not actually that old, but he sorts us out for the next few years. But Thiago Silva coming in, it's all looking good across the age gap, across the range. We have it all. We have it all. From young to very experienced. We've got it covered. So it sorts us out for the next few years. It looks like we are fully covered in the defensive department. But, yeah, Malang Sar, um... Welcome to Chelsea, Malang. Welcome to Chelsea. He goes straight out on loan. Now, where? We don't know, but it's looking very likely to be Germany. Many Bundesliga clubs are interested in Malang Sar, are interested in bringing him to the club. And, yeah, we're going to have to wait and see exactly what happens and how it all goes down. But um, I'm excited. I'm excited. Now, the arrival of Thiago Silva was one that was meant to, as I've said, come out today. Um, but we've got a little update from Sky Sports. And this is weird because Sky Sports, as I've already mentioned before, um, are very late. 
with information nowadays. They don't come out with information uh, very quickly. So <laughs> it's, it's no surprise, right, um, that maybe this information is out of date. But this is what they're saying. He's in Milan at the moment. He's passed his medical and he's waiting for documents to be signed. Where it doesn't make sense because other sources, including Fabrizio, including Carefree Youth, who's very reliable, especially on Twitter, they've come out and said, documents are signed, mate. He's done. He's a Chelsea, he's a Chelsea player. We're just waiting for the announcement. He's not in London. Whether he's arriving in London or whether he's doing the announcement from, from Milan or from Paris or wherever the hell he is on the globe, this announcement is going to come out imminently. Sky Sports are telling us no, he's still waiting for documents to be signed. I don't know what the hell's going on then. Paris Saint-Germain themselves put out a nice package, to be fair, in relation to Thiago Silva departing the club. And they gave him this very lovely tribute. This very nice, uh, very fitting send-off. You know, um, with, with nice footage of him playing for PSG and the president of PSG giving his blessings. And it was all very, very nice. Very lovey-dovey. Yeah. But if a, if a club does that, well, it means that he's not staying there. So for that to be true, it means Thiago Silva needs to have his next move completely sealed, completely done. So I don't understand what this hold up is. <laughs> Why is this not getting announced? But then again, you know, as I said, it's currently 6.20pm here in London at the time of this recording. And um, yeah, who knows? He might be announced in the next five minutes, knowing my luck. Anyway, I'll probably get to editing and sticking this video up. Next thing I know, oh, guess what? Yeah, Thiago Silva's announced. Then I've got to do another video. And then I've got to release that straight after. Uh, anyway, it could be today. It could be tomorrow. It will definitely be by, be by tomorrow. That's for sure. Thiago Silva will be announced as a Chelsea player by tomorrow. That's 100%. 100%. But we all thought it was today. Now, why did we think this? Because it's looking like tomorrow is meant to be Kai Havertz day. Now, are we going to get a double announcement tomorrow? Uh, I mean, it's, it's possible, but at the rate that looks like what Chelsea Football Club are doing, it doesn't look like that's what's going to happen. We, we had Ben Chilwell announced yesterday. We had Malang Saar announced today. I was expecting Silver to be announced with Saar. And then I'm expecting Havertz tomorrow. Now there's talk that Havertz might not be announced tomorrow because Bayer Leverkusen are causing a massive hold-up and <laughs> they're getting everyone back for pre-season, him included. What is, why, why, why? Now, don't get it twisted. The deals are happening. Don't worry. This doesn't mean none of these players are signing. They are going to sign. Whether it's Silva, whether it's Havertz, both will be Chelsea players. 200%. You can bet your house on it. It's just a matter of when. It's meant to be happening now, and it's not yet. So, yeah, we'll, we'll wait and see. We'll wait and see what happens, but... If it doesn't happen today, you will get a silver reveal to a video tomorrow from myself. And if we get a silver and have a uh, announcement tomorrow, then you'll get probably a double upload because I don't think they'll be announced at the exact same time. So you'll probably get a double upload. And if Havertz isn't announced tomorrow and it's just silver, then you'll get a silver video tomorrow. And if it's announced later on today, then you'll get a silver video later today. So we'll just have to wait and see what happens. I'm just looking at my phone and here, just all the time looking to see if a silver announcement has come through. The life of a Chelsea fan, eh? The joys of being being a blue this is what it takes i'm just uh yeah smash up the place um anyway that, that just that, that's deodorant by the way just yeah um <laughs> i know I, I moved that way too quickly and i knew some of you were gonna get some sort of wrong ideas no no it's it's sure men good you know it's there a slogan on here it won't let you down yeah but anyway i'm not getting paid to say that but anyway if we look at other news very quickly i just want to let you guys know and keep you guys in the loop Chelsea's preseason plans are looking a little bit uh, in, in trouble because um, six players have apparently tested positive for COVID-19. Uh, <laughs> well, I, I don't know. I don't know. Um, six players have t tested positive. Two others are in quarantine. Um, as, we may, as we know, players went off on holiday. And um, yeah, not just our players, but other players of other clubs are, are turning up and being tested positive as well. Pogba being one of them. 
So it's all a little bit up in the air. We don't know who um, has tested positive. We know the names of the players that were away and the names of the players that have been told to stay away. It's Mason Mount, Tammy Abraham, Christian Pulisic, Fikayo Tomori, Jorginho, Ross Barkley, Emerson and Batshuayi. Now the good news there is Emerson and Batshuayi are leaving the club. So that doesn't really jeopardise anything. Ross Barkley, he might be going. Jorginho, he's definitely staying at the moment, I would say. The others are all definitely staying. So it's just a matter of who's got it and who's just quarantined just for safety. We'll, we'll wait and see as, as it develops. But yeah, um, it looks like the other players will have to have a uh, longer feature against Brighton tomorrow as we play against Brighton. That game is going ahead. It's a pilot scheme done by the UK government to try and get fans back into a stadium. That is why the game is going ahead. That is why they approved the game going ahead on Wednesday, yesterday. Um, so, yeah, that is why it's going ahead. There's going to be 2,500 Brighton season ticket holders that will be in attendance. Spread out accordingly, I think. Is, again, it's a pilot scheme for the UK government. But there is a game on tomorrow between Brighton and Chelsea. We'll wait and see how it all goes down. Now... Thank you all so much for watching. I might see you later. I might see you tomorrow. Actually, I'll definitely see you tomorrow, but I might see you later and tomorrow. Or I might just see you tomorrow. I don't know what the hell's going on. We'll wait and see what happens. If I see you later because Silver's been announced, then I'll see you then. If Silver gets announced tomorrow, then I'll see you tomorrow. If we get Havertz announced tomorrow, then I'll see you twice tomorrow. If he doesn't get announced tomorrow, then yeah, yeah I'll just see you tomorrow for another video. Uh, <laughs> so <laughs> make sure you hit that subscribe button. Hit that notification bell to be notified once I've uploaded. Smash that like button. Let's try and get this to 5,000 likes. Thank you all so much. And yeah, I'll see you then. Look after yourselves. Take care. Come on, Chelsea. Announce, please. Announce. Thank you. See you later. Take care and peace.